Hello, Central Illinois. Busy night of basketball in Peoria. Three of Peoria's big schools at home hosting Big 12 action. We start at the kitchen. Peoria Notre Dame hosting Normal West tonight. Normal West guards against Peoria Notre Dame size. Normal West guards like Kylan Smith, the beautiful drive and the finish. Peoria Notre Dame size like Cooper Koch. Watch Cooper right here. Put the ball on the floor. Finger roll the ball home. Beautiful bucket by Cooper Koch, the Iowa Hawkeye recruit. Later, it's going to be Koch again. He had 18 points in this game, powering inside, scoring outside, doing it all. But, boy, Normal West controlled the game. Watch right here. It's going to be Kylan Smith to Logan Sluter. West up 15 at halftime. Second half, the Irish go back door to Owen Dillon. Teddy Dimler the assist. But Gavin Camp kind of took over this game. Camp the beautiful dish to Tanner Couples. Couples the hero last week against Peoria High, a clutch basket tonight. Then it's Gavin Camp for three. Later, Gavin Camp, the three-point play. Camp had 24. He's the star. Smile for the 25 sports camera. Thank you. Uh, Normal West, a winner, 61 to 50. Another Normal versus Peoria battle. Had Normal Community at Peoria High. Normal Community has a tower of power inside. Jaheim Weber powers up for two. Now keep the video rolling. Peoria High is going to take the ball right down the court, and they're going to take it right at Jaheim Weber. Bad idea. Ooh, the tower of power. Later, it's going to be a nice pass from Robbie Brent to Dexter Neatcamp. Normal community getting their buckets inside. Owen Pogi finds Weber again. Normal community had the lead early, but eventually Peoria High's quickness turned the game around. Mikey's Taylor with the steal right here, and Mikey's is cleared for, well, give him an assist. Off the rim, the assist to Daquan Little for the bucket on the Perhaps miss dunk. Later, Daquan Brown, he had 20. He finds Taylor. Taylor attacks and finishes this time. Peoria High gets a win, 57 to 45. Peoria Manuel hosting a Danville, and Manuel's big boy was terrific. Dietrich Richardson inside to Lewis Bailey, and Bailey powers up for two. Jerron Traps is going to dial long distance for three. But then it's going to be Jerron Traps dialing long distance for three. Later, it's going to be Traps going inside to Bailey for another bucket. Peoria Manuel's on their way to a win, 59-50. Peoria Richwood's got a big win tonight at Champaign Centennial. Well, we head to Bloomington with the Bloomington Purple Raiders. Our winners over Champaign Central, Nico Newsom on the attack in the bucket right here for Bloomington. So then it's going to be Adam Beasley getting all the way to the rack for two. Beautiful double pump. John Shuey is going to find Tashawn Ruffin, and Bloomington's playing better. They get a win tonight. We head to the Middle Line Eye Conference where the Middle Illini leading Metamore Redbirds. They won at the Potter Dome Tuesday. Tonight they travel to the Alice Palace. They're at Alice Ingersoll Gym to take on Canton. And Metamore is so much fun to watch. They share the ball so well. Ethan Kaiser, the pretty assist to Tyler Mason. And then it's going to be Tyson Swanson. Swanson's really starting to shoot the three well. Ethan Kaiser sets him up. Swanson dials a long distance from the corner. Caden Otto's having a great year for Canton. He gets a bucket right here for the Little Giants, but simply too much Metamora. The inbounds here to Swanson, and Swanson turns and delivers the 10-footer. Then on the fast break, it's going to be our 25 Sports Athlete of the Week, Ethan Kaiser, for one, two, three. You got to guard him at the arc. Drew Tucker's going to find Swanson inside, just carving him up inside. Then it's Kaiser on the steal, and he's taken off for the three-point play. Metamora rolls to the victory, 75-44. to Metamora. Morton visits Pekin tonight. Pekin's or Morton's Daniel or Pekin's Daniel Cash. I'll get this right. Uh, Daniel Cash for three right here. It's going to be Wes Gudeman responding with a three for the Potters. He had a dozen. Then Gus Rugard off the assist from Gudeman. Rugard had 11. Pekin's going to get a bucket by Peyton Hess. Hess with the three pointer right here for the Dragons. But the Potters really pulled away in the second half. They had a big third quarter. Evan Barlow is going to score inside for Morton, and the Potters get the win. 44 to 28. All right, let's head to East Peoria. This little guy is hosting a track meet, and the game was kind of a track meet. A lot of scoring this one. Jack Dubois is going to find Cam Maples for the Maples for the beautiful assist and finish by Maples inside. Gabe Munoz is making the Dunlap offense go. He finds Austin Schaumburg for three. Sol Chown left alone is going to hit a jumper here for East Peoria. This one was back and forth all night. East Peoria ahead most of the night. Munoz here finds Ryan DiGiannardo for a beautiful assist and a bucket. But Justin Page, the old fake and take. Page had 18. Whoop, now you see me, now you don't. And East Peoria wins at 73-65. Jersey night at Limestone as the Rockets were hosting Washington in this ballgame. Uh, Joe Lamberti to uh, Nehemiah Wiley off the inbounds. Nice play for the Rockets. And Keegan Ulrich dials a long distance for Limestone. But freshman James Johnson here, the nifty pass, as he's going to drop it down to Jamari White, who powers up for two. And then Gabe Patterson is going to find Johnson for the and-one three-point play. 
three points, the difference in the game. Washington wins it by three tonight. Tomorrow, Peoria Emanuel hosts a big shootout featuring all four Peoria schools and state-ranked Metamora and state-ranked Decatur MacArthur and Morton and Galesburg. A great four games. A quadruple hitter starts tomorrow at noon at Peoria Emanuel.